final double elemental magical is in game. It's so weird that we're approaching the end of the magicals. But anyway, let's get straight into discovering this one. I have seen already a little bit of the name of this magical. Apparently, it's bra or something. So maybe it's going to be a vocalist continuing the instrumentalist vocalist pattern. Oh, good day. You got to move out of the way, love. <laughs> Let's go in as a market then and discover raw or whatever they may be called. <laughs> Let's go along here. Is it after Deja Jane? Oh, oh, wait. Oh, I saw it. We're really weird. What the? <laughs> that can't be a magical. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> it's like a blob. Oh, it looks so tribal. It's got a mask to the side of it. It's like Day of the Dead theme. Well, we can definitely see where it's getting its bone element from, but where is that light element coming from? That's what I'm wondering. Maybe the eye of the bone or something can light up, or maybe its eyes or something. It has so many eyes. Oh, it's like a blob. I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's a Professor Blob Tribal Monster. How very weird. Alas, poor Rorik. Oh, it's Rorik. We know it's a monster of infinite breadth of most excellent monstrumense. It has borne a gleaming eye on its body a thousand times. And now how adored in our imagination it is, our spirits rise at it. Here hang those magical trinkets that has spells we know not how off. How be its vibes now, its rambles, its skull. The flashes of its elements that were wont to set the sanctum on a raw. To sing or not to sing, no question, sing. Oh, it's a vocalist. It looks like an instrumentalist, though, too, because it's got that bone in its hand. It looks very tribal because of that bone. I'm not sure. Maybe it's both. That would be really weird. Oh, I hope it is both. We've not had a vocalist and an instrumentalist for oh, a long time since Pekidna. Pekidna! Oh, 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 I'm excited about this now. Yeah. We're having flashbacks to Pekidna. That's when you know it's good. Good day. We're going to get you a friend now. And Cahoodle and everyone. Oh, Finn Wheel. We're not interested in you right now. Let's light as torches. Thank you, Melody, and everyone there. So we have Flores and Clacula for this combination. Once more, the only combination available for this monster. Oh, we didn't get it first time. Oh, as luck's running out now. We've been on a roll. We've getting them first time in Discovery videos. But apparently, maybe not this time. Oh, and we got it. It was the third time. Third time's a try. Oh, as they do say, come on then, Rorik. You know what? We'll put Flores in the hotel too. We'll do a cheeky maneuver in the middle of the video. We've got this new Discovery animation too. I forgot about that. Rorik! We can see you in all your glory now. The big question is, are you an instrumentalist or a vocalist? I think as questions might have been answered that it's a vocalist, that would definitely continue the pattern. Maybe they're not willing to quite break the trend. But maybe they are. Claude Ice. I love that nickname. Oh, they're not singing yet. Rorik! Oh, it fits so nicely with the island. Look at that. Oh my god, it's so cute. My instincts are telling me it's an instrumentalist, but at the same time, it's a vocalist because I saw its mouth open in the monster book. So maybe it's somewhat both. It's a very weird looking monster though. We could definitely say that much. Out of all the designs we've had so far, this has to be the strangest to me. Oh, we don't play in the secret verse. I'm surprised it doesn't play in the secret verse. And then Earth, does it play? It's probably at the beginning of the song, but I don't really think it needs that right now. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what even is that? That is sick. Hello. Oh, that is my jam. Oh, Rory Club. Oh, that is such a unique vocalist. We've never had anyone so out there and up. And this one, it's in its own style. It's got its own pizzazz and it's willing to put on a show. This one has so much pizzazz behind it. It's style, it's sound, got everything behind it. I really feel like this hits the song in a different way to all the vocalists. It's so weird and it's wonderful. I didn't know what to expect from it. It's definitely not an instrumentalist. It is a vocalist. So I'm going to assume that the quad is also going to be an instrumentalist now, even though it would be really cool to get a vocalist quad. Of We've not had one since Quarius during the main game, so it would be nice to get a vocalist, but it does look like they're continuing that pattern. And oh my goodness, I'm so happy it plays in the secret verse. I was starting to think that it wouldn't, and I thought that was the verse that most needed that part in there. And the fact they've added that, that is going to work so well with Frondley. In my mind right now, I'm just picturing all the different monsters that fits with, and it fits the Sanctum so well. Can we check it inside of the monster book, though? Because that was absolutely amazing. Oh, 
look at that monster. Rorik! Oh! Your crystals, your everything. I was not expecting that from it at all. I want to listen to it again because that was a whopping sound. We've never had anything like that before. It's everything about this monster. <laughs> I like how it has its own microphone. I thought that would be an instrumentalist whacker on the boat or something. But no, this monster just cares about putting on a show. I love its confidence. It literally is rocking the coolest hairstyle. Oh, good day. Look at you. You've got a new friend. Good day. Good day. Come over here. Look. It's Rorister. I think it's Rorister, right? Rorik. Well, I'm gonna call you Rorister. I think Rorister fits it a lot more. It's like a rock star and it's going full out there, not willing to put off its confidence in honor of the show. And good day, we like that, don't we, good day? Because it's spiced up your little bit. I never thought they would add anything to the secret verse singularly. I always thought that they'd always focus on other parts. And if anything was going to happen to the secret verse again, it probably would just be a part that's used throughout like with good day but no we have a singular part and it's took it to a whole other level that secret verse on the magical sanctum is truly to die for and i cannot wait to see where it goes with the quad too please quad add something to the secret verse because that is the best part of the song <laughs> reg of it should now be available so let's check inside of the market and discover reg for the first time <laughs> This has took me back a little bit because I was expecting it to be a gobstopper, but no, it's a literal spag ball. <laughs> I don't even know how to react to this. Okay. Unlike its hydrophobic exterior of its common cousin, the rare gob's dermal tissue is hydrophilic and allows for dew drops into arrange themselves into neat configurations for later consumption. Aside from their internal organs, rare gobs have an active interest in multi-instrumentalism and love to dabble with whatever musical objects they find around them. Given the unique anatomy of this rare magical, this can be challenging and sometimes amounts to little more than loudly singing in the direction of said objects. Well, I cannot believe you're a gob. You are a spike ball rather than being a gob stopper. Certainly not what I was expecting. I've got to see how this animates because I'm expecting it to have different lights. Let's go, a gob. Oh, they're at the front. Gob deserves the mantle. They're really good. Oh, it does make different colors. Is that even a different color? It looks like it's more aqua. Yeah, it is a different color. You can see on the video thing. I can't really see that clearly from my phone, but you can can see that. His teeth are like chalk. Well, I'm really happy that went in a different direction because that turned out so cool. Unexpected, but really nice. Well, that was lovely. I'm so happy that Rorik was in the secret verse. They honestly remind me of Galvana in a way. Really weirdly. In a weird way, I feel that connection between Galvana is there between Rorik and them, but I'm really happy that we have a singular Magical Sanctum secret verse monster. I didn't think we'd get a monster who just plays in that verse, and I think it's really cool that they've chosen Rorik to do that as they do it wonderfully. If you enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like down below and to make sure to subscribe too so you don't miss out any more videos from me. Banana! I'll see you guys later. Bye!